Welcome to the technical studies. Here is a detailed step-by-step -step guide for the fabrication of a horizontal pressure vessel, covering every stage from preparation to dispatch, following typical industry standards such as ASME Section 8 Division 1 and good engineering practices. Design review and planning. Activities. Study fabrication drawings, general arrangement, shell development, nozzle details, etc. Verify design code, example. ASME Sector 8 Division 1. Confirm material grades, thickness, and specifications. Prepare project schedule and resource planning. Raw material procurement and inspection. Materials. Shell plates, SA516 grade 70, etc. Dished ends, ellipsoidal, hemispherical, torispherical. Nozzles, flanges, manholes. Support saddles. Internal baffles, if needed. Inspection. Check MTCs, material test certificates. Visual check for dents, lamination, rust. Mark heat numbers for traceability. Shell rolling and edge preparation. Process. Cut plates as per shell layout. Bevel edges, 30 to 37.5 degrees, for full penetration welding. Roll into cylindrical shells using a plate rolling machine. Temporary tack weld shell edges. Inspection. Dimensional checks, OD, roundness. Check for internal stresses, if heat treated later. Longitudinal seam welding. Activities. Weld the shell along the length, long seam. Usually done using SMAW, SAW, or TIG. Clean weld route and proceed with fill passes. QAQC. Perform NDT, RT or UT, on the full length. Verify WPS, PQR, and welder qualifications. Assembly of shell sections. Process. Join rolled shells using circumferential joints. Match ends and weld using approved WPS. Tack weld, fit up inspection, route, and fill passes. Tip. Use strong backs and clamps to maintain alignment. Head preparation and welding. Process. Position formed heads, ellipsoidal or torispherical, on both ends. Fit up using internal or external alignment clamps. Weld the head to shell joint circumferentially. Inspection. RT, UT. MT depending on joint category per ASME. Nozzle cutting and welding. Activities. Mark and cut nozzle openings, shell or head location. Fit reinforcement pads as per UG37 EUG45. Insert nozzles with bevel ends, then weld. Types. Pipe nozzles, flange nozzles, manholes, Lifting lugs. Inspection. 100% PT or MT on reinforcement pad welds. Saddle support fabrication and welding. Process. Fabricate support saddles from plates and beams. Provide wear pads and stiffeners if required. Weld saddles at designated locations. Notes. Use sliding saddle, if thermal expansion expected. Use insulating pads, if mounted on concrete. Dimensional, an alignment check. Items to verify. Total length, and diameter. Center to center distance, between nozzles. 
Nozzle projection and orientation. Saddle positioning. Circularity and straightness of shell. Non-destructive testing, NDT. Types of NDT. VT, visual testing for all welds. RT, radiographic testing, long seam and selected welds. UT, ultrasonic testing, alternative to RT. PT or MT, surface crack detection on pad, nozzle, and fillet welds. Post-weld heat treatment, PWHT, if required. Criteria. Based on thickness, material, and design code. Heat vessel, uniformly to required temperature, example, 620 degrees Celsius for carbon steel. Hold and cool, as per thermal cycle. Hydrostatic testing. Procedure. Fill the vessel completely with clean water. Pressurize to 1.3 times design pressure. Hold pressure for at least 30 minutes. Monitor for leaks or deformation. Safety. Calibrated gauges. Controlled pressurization. Certified personnel only. Surface preparation and painting. Process. Clean surfaces using sandblasting, SA 2.5. Apply primer and intermediate coat, example zinc epoxy primer. Final top coat as per spec, PU or epoxy paint. Paint markings. Line number, vessel tag, design pressure etc. Nameplate fixing and stamping. Details. As per ASME code, vessel ID, MAWP, design temperature, year, etc. Stainless steel nameplate riveted or welded to shell. Official stamping if ASME U stamp required. Documentation and handover. Final dossier includes Fabrication drawings NDT reports PWHT charts Hydro test certificate Welder and WPS qualifications Final dimensional report U1 form, if ASME certified Packing and dispatch Steps. Plug all nozzle openings. Apply rust inhibitors inside. Protect painted surfaces. Secure saddles to the base frame or truck. Tag components clearly.